What's good, Herbert Spam? Herbert's Credit tapping in. Look, y'all, let's get straight into it. So today I'm going to be solving a major issue a lot of you guys are facing, how to get your first apartment approval. So I'm going to name two methods, how to get your first apartment with a fresh credit profile, and also two, how to get an apartment with bad credit. I'm going to give you guys a little solution because that's the two main issues. Some of you guys are trying to move out, you know, from your mom's crib. Y'all just got out of high school. You don't got no credit established. So you're trying to get a fresh credit profile running. That way you can get your, you know, first apartment. And then secondly, a lot of you guys have bad credit. None of these apartment complexes are accepting your applications, etc. Y'all get the points. First of all, with a fresh credit profile, a lot of you guys may think that you need a lot of shit on your report to get these apartment approvals. This is very simple. So with a fresh credit profile, you don't really need much on your credit report. All you need is something like, let's say for example, Rent Reporter or BoomPay. These are two um, websites, let's say websites that allow you to backdate rent on your credit report, right? They allow you to backdate up to two years, I'm pretty sure. BoomPay reports to all three. Rent Reporters reports to a TransUnion and Equifax, if I'm pretty sure. But BoomPay, all three of your credit reports. So you can get something like that, right? Add BoomPay or Rent Reporters to your credit. Now you have them two years of past positive rent payments. But if I'm being honest with you guys, on some of y'all reports, it might not make sense because you just turned 18. And if you backdate two years, then you know, it's going to be a little iffy, but you guys get what I'm saying. Some of you guys might fit that criteria. Some of you guys might not. And the two websites that I just gave you guys, if I'm being honest, in the most cases, you're not really going to need that because these apartment complexes, trust me, they don't look deeply into your profile. You may think that they're going to look at, do you have accounts in the last six months? Do you got recent increases? Is your utilization low? Honestly, they're just looking at your credit score. Okay. They're looking at your credit score. Some of them, they look at your credit card with your Vantage 3.0 score. So that doesn't really matter. Like, y'all know how inaccurate credit karma is. They just really paying attention to your overall score. I'm telling y'all, y'all really don't need nothing on y'all report. But what y'all do need is something like an authorized user. So a lot of you guys might not know what an authorized user is. It's basically you piggybacking, piggybacking off somebody's credit profile. Like, let's say your mom or your grandma or somebody in general has an old credit card with good payment history. Uh, with a high credit card limit, with low utilization, if they add you as an authorized user, all that history re reflects to your credit report, okay? And a little tip, don't get added as an authorized user to Amex credit card because the history is not going to report because Amex is a very popular, you know, uh, credit card company. Any Anything other than that, get added as an authorized user, get that history reflected on your report. And an authorized user is the quickest way to get your credit report boosted. Now you got that 700 some reporting on your credit. You got it added to your fresh credit profile. Add one or two on your fresh credit profile. Now you get approved for that apartment. Like I said, they're not looking deeply into your credit profile. You don't really need, you know, all these shits on your report. You just need authorized users, if I'm being honest with y'all. But I gave y'all them two uh, websites like BoomPay or Rent Reports just to guarantee that, um, that apartment approval, but you really don't need it if I'm being honest with y'all. So um, a lot of you guys have been hitting me up on Instagram for authorized users. So look, y'all, uh, what I'm gonna do for y'all is I have a Telegram group chat, so I'm gonna link it under my description. Uh, it's basically me posting steals every day for authorized user accounts, okay? I post some slots. A lot of you guys can tap in, join that Telegram, get you a steal on an authorized user and yeah, you straight, man. I got some good ass prices. So I'm gonna post a little sneak peek of my type of steals on my Telegram group chat. As you can see, look at that steal on the screen, man. Like who can beat them type of prices for that type of age and that type of limit? I'm telling y'all tap into the Telegram group chat for the people that need this type of service. And for the people that have that bad credit history and they can't get approved for these type of apartments, the most effective method to get approved for these apartments the next day is getting a CPM profile, okay? If you get a CP, a fresh CP, add an authorized user or two on there, you can get that apartment the next day. I'm telling you guys. So for the people that need that type of service, hit me up as well. I get a lot of people, a lot of Instagram DMs asking for these CPs every day. Look, y'all, I normally don't promote them on YouTube because it has a negative, uh, how do I say, a negative background to it. Because a lot of people that post about CPs, 
they hide themselves. They put ski masks and all this shit, right? Because they are not doing the right thing with these CP profiles, okay? They're not opening up correctly. They're doing a lot of fraudulent shit because what a CP is, it's basically a credit privacy number, right? A lot of important people use it, presidents, celebrities, right? To hide their real identity, they SSN, right? They use the credit privacy number instead, which is another credit profile where you could build up credit history, right? But it's very effective for apartment approvals. And also, too, when it comes to apartment approvals, some apartments ask for the last three pay stubs or one pay stub. I'm going to show you guys a little sauce to creating your own pay stubs legally. OK, legally. So hit me up for that type of service. Like I said, my Instagram is under the description. I'm telling you guys, these apartment approvals are so easy to get. Like a lot of you guys can do this shit on your own, but I know that a lot of you guys want to be guided because you're very confused on this process. But like I said, I'm giving you, the, I'm giving you the option to hit me up on Instagram. So hopefully you enjoy this quick little video. Y'all have a good day. The Hurricane.